now for Money Monday, and today we're learning about the Coward Portfolio. Mm. The president and CEO of Great Lakes Credit Union, David Seeger, he's joining us as he does every Monday morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Well, the market's here this morning. Well, the Dow's down four, S&P uh, Marshall at 0.25, NASDAQ up 350, and the Russell on 2000.2. So we're looking kind of a mixed bag here, but then again, yeah. still high uh, 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 um, ranges uh, and um, close to the record high. So I don't think anybody can complain. John is with you, so. But. Well, our Congress sure, certainly can't complain. I think they're working six days this month. We just out, <laughs> think, heard yeah. how hard they're working That's six right. days That's this right. month. That's right. I'm going to gig like that. It's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> but, but at any rate, in terms of the market, a lot of people are still kind of anxious about it, even though things are going really well. How long can these good times last? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings you up to this cowardly portfolio concept. It came about about 10 years ago as a concept, as a financial investment type of concept. These are for people who are faint of heart. They're really worried about their portfolios and what, what should they do about it. So the mix would be like this. 50% of your portfolio should be in uh, very safe type of non-volatile type of stocks, like in, in a stock fund. 30% mm -hmm. should be in government bonds and 20% should be in cash. Okay, so that's a really, really cowardly portfolio. There's little, if any, risk in that at all. Gotcha. So the cowardly part is there's no risk. That's right. right. Possibly not much growth. Not much growth, not much return on investment. I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but for those that are really, really faint of heart, yeah. this may be a good investment strategy for them. Right. A better investment strategy for them. I don't say it's good necessarily because the return is really low. When you got that much in cash, which is paying next to nothing, and you have bonds that are really low as well, paying really next to nothing, uh, that whole return in your portfolio is not so great. Yeah. Maybe for the short-term type of strategy, but definitely not for a long-term uh, type of strategy, particularly if you're a young person as well. Mm. Yeah. But definitely. then again, but that's where we stand, the cowardly portfolio. Cowardly right. portfolio, mm. you learn something every day. Yeah. All right, thanks David for joining us.